Alright, so welcome to AMS Gaming and this will be our first, very first ever video. So I've just started this profile on the American Truck Simulator and uh, I welcome you to the journey. So right now we're in a Peterbilt 389. This is not the one that I've spec'd. Um, so as we can quickly check, this is what we're currently driving. Peterbilt 389. And uh, this is the truck that they give you at the start of the game before you. Um, it's a very first job, basically. So this one is 108 miles. So uh, let's get it on the road. And uh, while we're going, I'll tell you a little bit more about this channel. So I am using a Logitech G27 um, with manual edge shifting gears. Um, at the moment, it's an 18-speed Ian Fuller. So yeah, let's get on the road and then um, we'll see how it goes. Just switch off this quickly. Right. So just to tell you a little bit about my playing style. We'll try to be as realistic as possible in this game. Um, my apologies if the mic is a little bit noisy. I still need to get one, but bear with me and then uh, we'll get there eventually. So as I was saying, um, I try to play as realistically as possible, so you will see me using the jack brake and everything as we are going to be able to give you the most realistic experience behind the wheel of an 18 wheeler. Okay. So my accent might sound a little bit funny. I am from South Africa. Um, I decided to start a YouTube channel because I mean, why not? Why not? Um, so yeah, anything you want to know, let me know down in the comments, anything you want me to improve on, um, any road rules and regulations, etc. that I'm not sure about, or that you think I should start following, let me know, because as I told you, I am from South Africa, this is on the completely wrong side of the road that I'm driving at the moment, but uh, I have a lot of hours in American Truck Simulator over the past few years, so uh, yeah, let's get this truck on the road. I will be using some, excuse me, um, alright, wait, this is a problem, um, let me just quickly go and configure my, um, what do you call it, um, my buttons, um, I think it should be fine like that. We're here we go here. So uh, yeah, this is the way that I normally drive. Toggle increase, decrease. Um, engine brake toggle should be that one. All right, everything else should be should be fine. Let's see if I can get into five fifth gear now. Okay, so it's been changed around. Right. Ah, excuse that. Um, yeah, so know that one, we'll go from there and see. See, like, here's one where I will stop. So, as I said, it's the first time that I've been playing on this profile. I still, I'm still have to fine tune all the controls, etc., and get used to the truck. Um, I will be using mods through the playthroughs. I actually have a um, it's an international 9800 that I've got installed um, that I will be using at the first available job. So, which meaning when I'm finished with this job, I will try and get a job where I'm actually using that one, and then we'll go from there. Um, you will see that I'm not using all the gears as I'm supposed to because in this truck the load is not that heavy, I don't need to use all the gears um, to be able to get up to speed. Um, currently we are pulling a reservoir tank that's go that weighs 22,500 pounds. It's going from stop its destination is Stockton, coastline mining. So yeah, let's get on the road and then we'll go from there. I am going to um, time lapse some of this um, as I'm not used to talking all the time as yet. But I believe that with time we'll get there. Where I can talk but for the whole length of the video. So, yeah. And um, if you hear any gears crunching, etc., 
like that. I am trying to to to, to um, float the gears, they call it. Where I uh, let me just move my sitting position a little bit down and a little bit back. That should be it. So I am trying to float the gears like they do in a real truck, where, which means shifting without using the clutch. So if there's any scraping noises, I apologize in advance. I'm still getting used to this. Um, to be honest, I only received my steering wheel last night. So I've been practicing a little bit from there and uh, yeah, I'm still getting used to it. Let's go to five low edge ish. Previously, this is not my truck. It's going down to seven there. So, at the end of this job, we will be starting to drive different trucks across the road um, simply because I've just started this profile. So, we'll go through, we will be doing everything as far as possible um, to get this profile where we can have our own truck together with our own. Um, uh, say dri drivers that are working for us etc etc so about the channel AMS Gaming was established this month actually yesterday and um, I've been toying with the idea of starting a YouTube channel for a while now. and uh, let's go to my idea here and I decided let me do it since now I can give you a, a, a realistic driving experience since I've got this steering wheel here yeah. so I will be doing playthroughs on American Truck and Aero Truck Simulator as well as Farming Simulator 17 and Farming Simulator 19 that drops in um, November this year. Personally, I am excited for, for Farming Simulator 19. I've been looking forward to, to it for a while now. And um, yeah, I've been playing Farming Simulator etc etc for a few years now. I started with 2013 and I went to seven, uh, 15, 17 and now 19. I'm not playing the mobile versions because that doesn't interest me. Um, I would rather, as I say, play the, um, the one on the computer. Um, currently, I am on Windows. I'm not using Mac and um, let's get that switched off. I prefer Windows over Mac. I'm not sure if I'm not if I'm the only one there, but I think um, at the end of the day, Windows is a more versatile uh, platform. But let's not go there. Okay, so we've got 60 miles left. Um, feel is fine. We're probably there. I think we do have. Okay, we've got zero damage. The car rear ended us a little bit there when we were turning onto this road. Uh, so it should be smooth sailing now, and I'm also, as 
you can see getting used to the gears because um, when I was practicing I had the gears switched around where or the toggle button switched around that's why you see me swapping them a little bit out I should actually you know what let me swap them around quickly um, it's gonna be better for me to swap them around um, yes like that like that um, in the future I'm looking to get an S SKRS I think they call it shifter so that um, I, can, I don't have to press buttons on the steering wheel to be able to um, control the gearbox because as you know in a um, Eon Fuller 18 speed transmission which this truck has you start out with first gear or you can start out in uh, your low low or low high range and you can go first low high second low high right through up until eight low high which gives you a total of 18 forward gears and then you still have your two or four reverse gears i'm not sure i'll have to make, make sure of that but um, personally i enjoy movements are too fast or too jerky I can switch I can take down the sensitivity there for you guys I don't have a problem with doing that at the end of the day you must be happy with me so uh, we have to find a, a happy medium so, yeah, let's go over to the freeway we have 35 miles left nice if I'm going too high <coughs> Excuse me. So we currently have um, 55 or 31 miles left. We'll be there in no time if we continue making such good time as we are currently doing. Let's just check the mirrors. Um, let's do this. I think the road is becoming one in the front. Let's just go over preemptively so we don't struggle in the top. Sorry, I didn't see. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a little bit now, let's just coast to get the speed down. Um, just look forward. Uh, it seems alright. Okay, so we'll change back, as we just did. So I think we're going to be on the right hand side here. Let's just go to low range. Be straight. Um, at the moment I'm not using any type of eye tracking so try, I am looking to start getting those type of things in the future um, as well as getting a triple screen um, setup which means then I won't have to look around as much um, then I can maybe do a wheel cam etc etc but before that I'll have to, to make a few plans um, financially etc etc so yeah it seems like Looks like we're close by now. Um, to using the foot brake you can do that as well it's just it's not as realistic and they are quite touchy to get used to all right so let's stop here got my indicator clear that side i had a traffic mod in previously where you would stand quite a while waiting for for the traffic but um, i think this is not bad 
just get a gap after this blue car and we'll be right. One trailer damage, and that's a car that we guys can buy. Sorry about that. Let's get this one delivered and see if we can drive that international that I was talking about previously. So our drop off will be here in front on the right. Um, let's take it slowly, there's nothing rushing us. I've got two minutes left, and we still have three hours available to complete this job. So time is not of the essence um, I think I have it set so it, it automatically takes the most difficult parking which is the way I like it okay, I don't have it set that way let's quickly see if I can get it set that way let's see if we can do that see what I can do here. Ah, okay, sorry. I selected the wrong one there. Um, okay, 161 out of 200 um, experience points. Damage penalty 1.2% because of that car that hit us from the rear just before we delivered it. So right now, you'll see that I have no truck that is mine at the moment, which you can see um, okay, so it's just showing you now where everything is. Let's skip that. All right. So over here, you can see I don't have my own truckers yet. Um, I'm driving under the name of MS Gaming, and uh, MS Haulage. So at the moment, we've got 4,083 rand. Uh, garage is one, driver one, trucks zero. So 